Well, good evening, everyone. We praise God, amen, from whom all blessings flow. Amen. I tell you, it is uh, good to be in the land of the living, good to be alive, amen, and good to have the joy of the Lord, which is our strength. Amen, amen. I tell you, no other help I know. Amen. God has been great, amen, unto us, and he's greatly to be praised. Amen, amen. For there has not been none like him, there's none even like him now, and there's none like him to come. He is the one and only, amen, and our Lord and Savior, amen, unto whom him of which be a dominion, majesty, and power. We give him praise on tonight, amen, amen, because God is awesome, amen, and we love him. Why? Because he first loved us, amen. Can't nobody, somebody say, do us like Jesus, amen. He's so sweet, I know, amen. At this time, we're going to go before the Lord in prayer, amen, at this time, Amen. We do have some prayer requests we want to bring up before the, uh, the Lord on tonight. Amen. We have a special prayer request. Amen. Amen. For our brother, uh, Randy Carwell. Amen. We believe in God for him. Amen. We know that God is a, still yet a miracle worker. Amen. And, he's, and he said even in his word, he's even able to do even abundantly. Amen. Exceedingly and abundantly above all the even with which we can ask or think. So we're, we're touching and agreeing by faith. Amen. That whatever he's standing in need of, that God's going to meet him at the point of his needs. Amen. We know that God is somebody shout. He's able. Amen. Glory to God. Able. Amen. Amen. We believe it all tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Go ahead and see, go ahead and see daddy. All right. Praise God. Amen. Got the grandkids running around here. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. We thank God on tonight. Amen. Let's go before the Lord in prayer at this time. Amen. Father God, in the precious name of Jesus, once again, God, we thank you. But this is the day that you've made. We're rejoicing and we're glad in it. And right here and now, God, as we come before your presence, we pray, God, that you just bless us in a mighty way, God, on tonight. Right now, God, you've even heard the requests that have gone up before you. Right now, even those unspoken requests. Right now, God, you're able, right now, to do anything but feel. And we thank you for yet still being a God which did not only hear, but answers our prayer. Glory to God. You said, Jesus, even as you walked this earth, you, you said we have not because we ask now, but we're asking you on tonight, God. Right now, God, even with Brother uh, Ray that's on with us on tonight, whatever he's dealing with in his body, we know that as the prophet I said declared, for by stripes, he is healed in the name of Jesus. Yes, thank you, God. Yes, Lord. Every pain, every ache to be loosed and gone. Yes, in the name yes. of Jesus. Glory to God. You decreed and even in your word that greater works shall we do. Mm. Ask anything in your name. And you yes. quit asking in the name of Jesus. Right now, God, meet us, God. Right now, we decree it. Right, you, you in your word declare that we decree a thing. It shall be established. And right now, even for Brother Carwell, right now, where he is, God, touches his head to the very sole of his feet. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Remember, new in the strength. Oh. Jesus, right now, do it as only you know how. We thank you right now, God. And even those prayer requests that, we, that has been unspoken, right now, God, I'm praying, God, that you just stretch forth your hand, God, right now, because why? There's no other help we know. You are the great I am, God. <laughs> able, God, to do anything but fail. There's no fear you and you. There, you are, amen, you are like a, a doctor which has never lost a case. You are just a, you're better and greater than the lawyer who was in the courtroom. Glory to God. We, we praise you right now, God, right now for meeting our request. Yes, Lord. We speak, God, with the thought, with the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, God, yes. We decree it right now, and we thank you for doing it right now. We thank you for hearing our prayer. We thank you for all hey, Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. Glory to God in the name thank of Jesus. And we decree it right now, God. Victory in the name of Jesus. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Deliver it in the name of Jesus. Yeah, God. Thank you. Now, God, we stretch forth our hands and our faith unto thee, for no other help we know. Glory to God. Hey, God thank you, Lord. Meeting us in the way of our needs. Glory to God. We thank you for the ways that have been made. And we give you praise. Thank you, God. And we give you glory. 
tonight. Hallelujah. For it's due unto thee. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you Lord. We praise you, right? Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Right now. Thank you. God. Hallelujah. Thank you. In the name of the Lord. We will, we will leave it right now. We will, Thank you, Lord. You know you're not concerning, you're not concerning your purpose. You're able to do it, God, and we know that you can do it. And if you've done it before, do it again. Thank you. Give you praise right now. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. The rising of the sun to the glory. The Lord's name is greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Glory thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. We praise you. Oh, thank thank you. Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. We're trusting you, God. Thank we're, you, Jesus. We thank never you. Thank you. But we're acknowledging you, God. And we thank, thank you, God. God. Glory to thank God. Thank you. Glory thank to you, God. Lord. We thank you for being a way maker. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, but thank, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God, and we give you praise. We give you praise right here. Right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It's done. It's done. Thank God. Thank you, Lord. We see Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Continue to raise that hand of victory. Glory Thank to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Glory to God. We speak it in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Glory to God. God. Thank you, God. You can rest the shadow is down in your mind that God is not here, but a power, love, and a sound mind. He's given you authority. Glory to God. Thank you. Those things that be not as though they were. Glory to God. And we believe it right now. Yes, Lord. And agree by faith. So, glory to God. It is so in the name of Jesus. Yes, yeah, so thank you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you. Oh, God, we give you praise. Yes, God, we give you thank praise, you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. It's already done. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, family and friends, those of you who are watching us online, come on and give God a praise with the fruit of your Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Glory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we praise you. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Wonderful Savior. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, Lord, I just want to thank you. Glory to God. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. God, I praise you. Oh, Lord. Yes. Oh, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. God. Lord, thank you, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, God. Thank you. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Look to the right. We thank you. Thank you. Our faith unto thee. Glory to yeah. God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah. And wonders. Glory to God. Oh God, I wish there had been greatly to have been performed. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Oh, oh. oh, God. oh yes, we do. Yeah. yes, we do, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. Oh, sorry. oh, thank you, God. Praise. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Oh, we thank you for the prayer on tonight. God, I'll give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to give our Bible study. <laughs> you keep praising. Mm. Praise is what we do. Ah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Yeah, he knows what we need. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. God, thank you. Thank you, Lord. 
and somebody out there, even in the, in, in, in the YouTube land and in, in the all out there, in the Facebook, everybody, we need this prayer time. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Ah, God. The sugar girl on, on, I think it was like about Saturday, Sunday morning, early, early uh, this week. Sweet. Go egg, like the size of an egg, a chicken egg. Ah. I said, Lord, in the name of you, I told my husband, I said, but baby, I don't know what this is going on. You know how you reach your hand over the hour, just had um, a mammogram screening, you know, so that came out uh -huh. okay. So there's nothing there because right. I was feeling a little swollen and different things in both arms. So I went in, uh, uh, OBGYN got me to get that. But I just thank God the Lord said, Lay your hands uh, on yourself because you saying you got divine healing. We as people of God saying we're praying for folks and we can, you know, we got this and that. Just lay your hands on yourself. That's what you got to do. Uh, and just tell that devil. And, and devil stop thinking about whatever condition. Yes, Lord. And guess what? That thing ain't there. It wasn't the size of a corn uh -huh. or a diamond. It was the size of a chicken egg under my arm. Just a big old thing. Hard. Hurting. Ooh. It's in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Lord Jesus. Jesus. And guess what? That devil to go. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please. So I like I said, we we you know, it's praying time. Time that we exercise the power and the authority that God has yes, given us. Yes, yes, Amen. Because yes. we're gonna pray for somebody else, we gotta be able to pray for our own self. Pray for yourself. Amen. That's right. You have Amen. Faith. Even, even if somebody praying for you, you gotta have faith to believe. So guess what? Yes. If you're in a room by yourself, just pray for yourself. Say Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. We serve a mighty God. Yes. Yeah. The devil is a lie. He got to go because the devil is loose in the land. He's loose. Okay. I heard about yeah. Jackie falling. I say I ain't had a chance to talk to him, but y'all y'all know I was telling y'all two, three of my family members, even people down south, saying that just falling, they don't know what happened. He said he slid down the steps. I read it on Facebook. Arms took him all the way down the stairs. Hurt himself a little bit and went to church. Though, guess what? The Lord touched his body. So he's still in the healing bit, no matter what the devil trying to do. How uh, no, it way. won't work. I look at I look at Wanda's little grandbaby. Y'all a miracle. Yes. Hey, I look yes. at he was a roll roll baby. She lost one baby. That little girl of hers, I won't forget. That baby was in the hospital, I think about three months or more or two. She was a very sickly baby when she was first born. Amen. But God is a healer. The healer. Never lost the care. Yeah. I don't know what Ella Shaw's topic is tonight, but I tell you. God is working in, up in here. Yes, he I is. Let me put on my air. Now I'm hot. Please do. What time I'm at, son? I'm taking the seat. Listen, we thank God. Amen. Yeah. We're going to jump right into our Bible study on tonight. Yeah. Yeah. It, and I believe it's something of which that uh, is needed. I don't know what uh, was. I was just being drawn to this topic. But we're going to share. We're going to do a screen share. And please, everyone, please feel free to take notes. Even if you're unable to do so, amen, you know that this is being recorded. You can reference this later also, too. Amen. Uh, one moment. All right, one moment. All right, I'm getting a little background noise. Um, I don't know where that came from, but uh, if you got oh, yeah, my air conditioner. That wasn't your line. I believe it was somebody else. I'm not sure. Amen. I'm going to mute out. Uh, one moment. All right, everybody. Uh, we're going to um, we're going to jump right in. Let me do a screen share. One moment. And we're going to talk about this topic on tonight. Amen. Y yielding, can y'all see the screen? Yes. You are dealing with the subject on tonight, yield not to temptation. Yield not to temptation. Glory to God. That's going to be our Bible study on tonight. All right. Amen. And it's it, we're going to be dealing with as to how as we as a Christian should deal with temptation. We're going to deal with that, talk and discuss that on tonight. Amen. All right. Amen. Temptation. It is, what is it? It is actually the enticing or you know, inducement to do what? To yield to the lust of the flesh, eyes, as well as pride. All right. The Christian's greatest danger is what? Succumbing, in fact, to temptation. Yield not to temptation. For what? Yielding is a sin. Now, not a sin, it is not a sin to be tempted, but guess what? But to give into temptation, 
family and friends, if those of y'all listening to me, it is a sin. Uh huh. All right. Temptation. Now, after in fact one becomes a Christian, he or she has the same desires as well as temptations <clears throat> facing him or her, or that is he or she had before. Now, guess what? There will always be some form of temptation that every Christian must deal with. Amen. It is a trial or a testing of one's faith and loyalty, in fact, to God. Now, one that we must face on as of which is on a regular daily basis. We're dealing with it, all right? Sources of temptation. Cer certainly it's not from God, temptation itself. God does not tempt anyone to sin. Uh-huh. Where's, where's, let's go to the scripture. I'm going right there. We're going to go to James. We're going to go to chapter 1 and verse 13 and read it for you. Amen. James chapter 1, verse number 13, going right to the word of God. Amen. 113 says what? Let no man say... When he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted in a man. So, amen, that confirmed what I just said. God does not tempt. All right, God tries to do what? He does what? He tries, or rather also to, he proves his children, but he does not induce them to do evil. Genesis chapter 2, 22 and verses one and two. Genesis chapter 22, verse number one and two. I'm going there. Amen. Genesis chapter 22, verse one and two. Amen. And it came to pass after these things that God did to Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, he said, behold, here am I am. And he said, take now by thy own son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land. <laughs> Of Moriah and offer him there for a burnt offering upon the mountains, which I will tell thee. So at that particular instance, God was trying Abraham. All right. In, in other words, Abraham through a test, all right, to prove to prove of his child, to see that he would in fact uh, listen and obey him. But he did not induce Abraham or try to persuade Abraham or tempt Abraham to do evil. Uh huh. God does not permit us, in fact, to be tempted, nor beyond our capability, in fact, to overcome. I'm going to the book. Look what the scripture says. First Corinthians chapter 10. First Corinthians chapter 10, verses 12 and 13. Look what the word of God says. Amen. First Corinthians chapter 10, verses 12 and 13. It says what? Wherefore, let him that think if he standing take heed lest he fall. Look at verse number 13. There has no temptation taken unto you, but such is common to man. Mm -hmm. But God is what? Faithful. Who will, not, will do what? Will not suffer you. Will not let you be tempted uh, uh, but not beyond our, our capacity. In fact, that's what I said here on the screen to overcome. But he will what? With, with, with the temptation, he will also make a way to escape that you what? That you may be able to bear it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Another source of temptation to do evil. That comes from where? It comes from Satan. And what does Satan do? He has, in fact, many devices to do what? To tempt us. But we are the ones to blame when we yield to temptation. All right? Adam and Eve had a choice. And they made the wrong choice, in fact. So does also everyone who sins. Uh huh. Satan only has to do what? Has the power that we allow him to have. Uh huh. Temptations are sure to come. You know, did every one of us at some point in time in our life, it could be every other day, every day, guess what? They come in. But by no circumstances, environment, or conditions we have to exempt. Not by character or spiritual power, because we can overcome if we want to. Even Jesus himself was tempted. Satan, in fact, should have known better. Uh huh. Then what's the benefits of temptation? Somebody said benefits? Yes. What are the benefits of temptation? How could there possibly in fact, be a benefit, I'm asking you tonight? Let's check it out. To be tempted is not to sin, but only when one yields to temptation, in fact, it is a sin. Uh huh. To man who yields as it is a curse, but to the man who overcomes, it is in fact a blessing. I'm going to the word of God. 
James chapter 1, verses number 2 through 15. Look what it says here. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation. Do y'all hear the scripture on here? He goes on to say, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let air, let patience have our perfect work that you would, that you may be perfect in time. <laughs> All right, somebody's got some background noise going on. Amen. Hold on. One moment. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. All right. But if any of you lack uh, wisdom, I'm at verse number five. Let him that ask of God that giveth all men liberty and abradeth not, and it shall be given him. But let every man ask what? In faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven in, uh, uh, and with the wind and tossed. For let not a man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. And it goes on to tell us what? That a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let brother of low degree rejoice in him that is all. But the rich that him that is made low, why? Because of the flowers of the grass, he shall pass away. For the sun is no sooner risen with a burnt heat, but it will withdraw wither the grass. And the flower there falleth, and the grace of the passion perish. So also shall the rich man fade in all his ways. Look at verse number 12. Blessed is the man that endure. Blessed is the man that endure of temptation. For what? For when he is tried, see, he shall receive the crown of life with the Lord God promised to them that love him. Let no man, I'm at 13, let no man say that when he's tempted, I'm tempted of God. For God cannot do what? Cannot be tempted with evil. Neither he does what? He does not tempt any man. But every man is tempted, yes, when he is drawn away from his own lust and enticed. Then with the lust have conceived, what does it do? It brings forth sin. When it talks about conceived, that means when it comes into fruition, when it becomes a reality, when we give into it, guess what? It is in fact then a sin. And a sin and sin, when it is finished, does what? It brings forth death. Romans chapter 6, what, 23, huh? For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen? One who yields is made weaker, but the one who overcomes, guess what? According to what we just read there, we're made stronger. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Benefits of temptation. It teaches us what? Benefits. Uh, it teaches us patience. James chapter 1. Amen. Verses 1 and uh, verses 2 and 3. All right, I read it. Amen. It will increase our desire to do what? To go to heaven when we will be free from all temptations. Philippians chapter 1, verses 21 through 23. I'm going there. Philippians chapter 1, verses 21 through 23. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I thank God for his word. For to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Look at verse 22. But if I live in the flesh, that is the fruit of my labor, yet what I shall choose, I, will, I won't not. For I am straight betwixt, uh-huh, uh, and a straight betwixt two, having a desire to part and to be with Christ, which is far better. Amen. See, when we, it will increase our desire, amen, to, uh, 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 to go to heaven. Glory to God. And in fact, in heaven, guess what? You're going to be free from all temptation. Glory to God. Amen. He shall be crowned. Uh, he, he shall be crowned. James chapter five, uh, 1, verse 12. I read it. Amen. Earlier, just a moment ago. Listen, overcoming temptation. Guess what? God's people, we can, in fact, overcome any temptation. We can overcome any temptation. The scripture tells us. It proves it to us. It shows us. Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse number uh, 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12. Listen to this. Wherefore, let him that think if he standeth, take heed lest he falls. Mm -hmm. I got to read it here. Amen. Uh, Therefore, there have no temptation taken it to you, but such is common to man. Guess what? We're all going to go through the similar types of temptation, but guess what? There's nothing. Glory to God. There's no temptation. Amen. Amen. That th th we're not able to overcome. But God is what? In fact, faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you're able. 
but will do what? With the temptation, also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. You can overcome. What is the fact the way of escape? Question, what is the way of escape? The way of escape is what? Through preparation. Psalms 119th division, verse number 11 toast shows us how to do that. Psalms 119. All right, if y'all taking notes, you can write it down. Psalms 119. Glory to God. We're going there. Verse number 11. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I thank God for his word. Glory to God. Glory to God. It's a lamp unto my feet. It's a light unto my pathway. Glory to God. Look what the word said. The word of I've hid in my heart that you might what? That you might not sin against thee. That's preparation, y'all. We got to have the word of God in our heart. Amen. Amen. And if you got the word of God on the inside of you, amen, you will be least, if not, no likely to, not likely to be inclined to sin against the Lord. Amen. That's why you got to have the word on the inside. That's where, and if you got the word on the inside of you, you are, you are in fact prepared. Jesus did what he overcame by, because, because what? He filled his heart, in fact, with the word. I'm going to the book, Matthew chapter four. Amen. We're going to Matthew chapter four, verse is number one through 11. Look what Jesus did. Then Jesus was led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Amen. And when he had fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, what happened? He was afterward. He was hungry. He was hungry. And then when he was, and then when the tempter came to him, he said, if thou be the son of God, command these stones to be made bread. But what did Jesus tell him in verse number four? He said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Then the devil took him up into a holy city, set him on a pinnacle of the temple, said unto him, if thou be son of God, cast yourself down. Amen. Just jump off of here. For it's written, he shall give the angels charge of the, the, concerning thee, and thy hand shall be of thee, lest any thou should dash against the foot. What did Jesus tell him in verse number seven? He said, it is written again in the word of God, thou shall not tempt the Lord thy God. Again, verse number eight, the devil took him up even into an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdom of the world and the glory of thine and said unto him, all these things I'll give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. In verse number 10, Jesus said what? Get thee hence from me, Satan, for it is written that thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and in him only shall thou worship. Then the devil did what? He left, he leaveth him and behold what happened? The angels came and they in fact ministered to him. Jesus overcame. Why? Because he was filled with the word. Every time the enemy tried to come at him and tried to call himself tempting him, Jesus brought him back, uh, thwarted him back with the word. Glory to God with the scriptures. And guess what? We can too. Glory to God. Hallelujah. By way of preparation and watchfulness, Matthew chapter 26, amen, and verse 41 tells us about that. Matthew 26 and verse 20, uh, excuse me, 41 tells us that. Look what Matthew, listen to what Matthew 26 and 41 tells us. It tells us what? Watch. Do y'all hear the scriptures on tonight? Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but what? The flesh is weak. Guess what? Every time, every opportunity the flesh to get, if, we, if the flesh is not watching, if we ain't praying, guess what? That's when the enemy can step in. Amen. The disease deceive us. Amen. Amen. Scripture even talks about for how he even deceived the very elect. But, but by, and how can we overcome temptation? By way of a strong purpose. Daniel chapter 1 and 8 talks about that. Also, 1 Corinthians chapter 1 uh, 9, verse 27. Y'all write notes. Y'all can take that down. Amen. We're going to, I'm going to go to 1 Corinthians. Amen. We're going to go to 1 Corinthians chapter 9, and we're going to go to verse number 27. Look what the word of God tells us on tonight. It tells us what? Amen. In 27 verse, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection. You got to do this, y'all. Amen. Lest that by any means when I have preached to others, this is Paul talking to the Corinthians church, but this is for us today, even too. Amen. Cast away. Glory to God. Amen. So we got to have purpose. Maybe by, also by way of flight. First Corinthians chapter 10, verses 14. Also Second Timothy chapter 2, Verse 22, I'm going to go to 2 Timothy chapter 2, 
Amen. We're going to go to 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 22. Listen to what the book says. Listen to what the word of God tells us on tonight. Amen. The scriptures are speaking to us on tonight, y'all. Flee also youthful lust, but follow righteousness. Uh-huh. Amen. Faith. Charity, peace with them that call the Lord on the Lord out with a pure heart. We got to be pure. You got to be in the right position. Amen. Amen. In the right posture. In fact, to overcome temptation. Amen. How do we do this? Amen. Amen. And, and, and by doing what the word of God just even told us, even right there. Amen. Follow righteousness. Amen. You can't be in no wrong and in no foolishness. Amen. It's claiming we love God. Amen. And not, not in his word. We're not praying. We're not fasting. We're not laying before his face. Amen. Amen. That's when the enemy tries to come in. Glory to God. Amen. That's why you got to have God on the end, the spirit of the Lord on the inside of you. Glory to God. For we're the, I'm reminded of the scripture that tells us, amen, that when the enemy even comes in at us like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard against him. Glory to God. Glory to God. He also, write this down. I got a lot of scriptures, amen. Uh, Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12, amen. Praise be the Lord. 1 Timothy 6, 12, amen. Overcoming temptation. We also could avoid, uh, this is a big one, y'all. How else can we overcome temptation? By avoiding bad company, Amen. People is not walking, not talking like you are. Amen. You know you have the desires of the Lord and when you want to seek God's face, but you get around rebel rousers and, and folks that ain't got nothing but the devil in them. Amen. Come on. Amen. <laughs> you, got to, you got to live the life and walk this little thing. Amen. It's not just us talking about it. Amen. Amen. It's Monday. Amen. It's glory to God. Hallelujah. It's Monday through Sunday. Glory to God every day. Amen. We got to walk this uh, 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 walk of life. Amen. In Christ Jesus. Amen. And avoid bad company. Amen. People that ain't walking like you are. Amen. And I'm going to tell you something. Either you're going to draw them or they're going to draw you. Amen. And I ain't having nobody draw me. I'm going to come too far to turn around now. Do I, I know I got a witness out there. Yeah. Amen. But God, we done come to God and brought us. Yeah. And, I, and I've sacrificed. I, 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 I've given up so much for you. Why would I jeopardize that and put that in the job? The devil is a liar. Glory to God. Listen, how can we overcome temptation by keeping busy for the Lord? Look, look at the screen. Idleness is the devil workshop. Idleness is the devil workshop. God, you got to be busy for the Lord. Amen. Find ways of it, finding a ways of escape. Amen. Is beneficial to us, y'all. It is, it is it is all a matter of, of a want to. We must, in fact, do what? We must look for the escape, the fact that the Lord has already provided. Glory to God. In conclusion, glory to God. Right, question, are y'all, are you a victim of temptation? Have you succumbed it or yield to such? Amen. The Lord, in fact, has made provision for all those of which that have fallen. Glory to God. To you have, that have fallen, guess what? Get up. Amen. And repent. Confess and pray. Glory to God. Romans chapter 10 talks about whosoever should call upon the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Shall be saved. Glory to God. Repent to you that are still in the grasp of Satan and have not become the children of God. Listen, listen here. Then you too can overcome temptation, can overcome temptation by doing what? Hearing God's word, believing in God and his word, repenting of our sins, confessing with our mouth what you believed in your heart that Jesus is the Son of God, and, it, and then be baptized and buried, bear a word in the remission of your sins. Then live soberly, righteously, and godly the rest of your life. And heaven, guess what, will in fact be your home. Go yeah. Paul tells us also that. Friends, that as children of God, we could do all things through Christ. Mm. Not some, not few, not many, but the word of God declares that we could do all things. All things. Christ Jesus who strengthens us. Glory to God. I'm so mm. glad a God that gives us strength. Strength like no other. Glory to God. Amen. Be able to uh, carry us throughout the day, through our walk of life. Amen. Be a light to our family. Glory to God. Amen. Be like that city that sits upon a hill. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That cannot be hid. We thank God on today. We're going to stop screen share. 
And let's talk and discuss this uh, subject matter even further. Well, if anybody got questions and comments, come on. Amen. And let's open up the floor. Amen. And do like we do. Amen. And delve into the subject matter even further. Amen. As I always say, don't everybody cry at once. <laughs> <laughs> One thing for sure, the devil is not giving up. He's out here tempting whom he may, and those that are not prayed up, it's time to get prayed up because that's what he wants. He wants to draw us from the Lord. So we got to stay prayed up and, and just remember we remember why we gave up what we gave up. We're oh. trying to make it easy. Mm. We're trying to make it easy. Good God Almighty. Mm. That's what he wants. Amen. Look, to who the enemy already got, he ain't messing with them. Nah. He already got you. You know, he, you know, he ain't bothering with you. Amen. He wants those that love the Lord. Amen. Those are yeah. according to his purpose. He wants to try to get us off the uh, 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 the destiny that God has already pre planned for us. Yeah. That's yeah. the enemy's job. Amen. He wants to kill, steal, and destroy. He wants to kill you. Amen. He wants to steal your joy. He wants to destroy, destroy lives. Amen. Amen. But the but the devil's a liar. Satan's already done. Amen. And, 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 and we got to remember, even as we are saints of God, God has given us authority. Amen. And we got to speak even to our family, even to our loved ones, even to our friends and associates, people that we care about. We got to speak, oh, speak over their life. Amen. I'm speaking victory over their life. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Devil is a lie. The truth's not in him. Glory to God. We're not receiving anything he may try to bring against us. Amen. But Satan is already defeated. Glory to God. And the God we serve, serve is exalted. We give him praise. Amen. We thank God. Amen. Thank God, Minister Sandra. God bless you. Amen. Come on. Amen. Somebody else want to share? Amen. A thought, question? Come on. What, what I would like to say is I know Brother Raylan rose up. He looked like he's feeling better. Thank God. Um, what I would like to say is the way he works with you, even when you save and feel with the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. he makes somebody mess with you and you in your mind, you don't curse nobody, but guess what? The devil put a curse in your mouth, in your, in your head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you have to like not yield to the temptation or maybe you want to hit somebody that didn't upset you so bad, you know, or maybe you might want to go further because, you know, flesh, we're flesh. Mm -hmm. That's what we have to say, prayed up and with the spirit of God dwelling on the inside and ask God to guide us and lead us and direct us. Amen. Mm -hmm. Like like Jesus, if he tempted Jesus, he was trying to make him commit suicide. That's basically. Oh, yeah, come on, just jump off. That's right. You know? So guess what? He does the same thing for all of us. He'll make you try to go out of here before your time. You know? Why, why don't you do that? And, and, and with God, we got to learn to yield not to even sometimes to say things. Sometimes we just got to shut up. Once you learn that it's going to be a confrontation in certain areas, you got to say, oh, okay, I got to work with this a little different way. You know, mm -hmm. not, oh, well, I know I'm just going to talk. We just got to talk about it. No, sometimes you just got to talk to God. Because you can't, sometimes you can't convince folks that they're wrong and you're right. Mm -hmm. God has to show them. Amen. And we have to humble ourselves. Amen. I just thank God. Amen. Because the world, and because, you know, we're looking at now, even at all the things going on in the world, I've kind of like cut my TV off. It's just too much. I'm just taking it to the Lord. Sometimes I'm like craziness. Amen. Things that we have fought and died for. We got to say, Lord, I know you got this. And I know you're going to turn it around. Because they think the COVID was bad and they done went through a lot of stuff and people done died. But they still going on with their mess and, you know, just evil. And maybe somebody said, no, they evil is y'all. No, well, whatever. I'm going to call to what God said. That's God right. told me to love one another and don't have no hatred. Don't always be so judgmental and trying to do stuff. It's not right and undercover. God knows what you're doing. He knows everything that you're doing, everything that you're trying to cover up. All that stuff will be uncovered. So we might as well all say, I'm going to do what's right. I'm going to do what's That's pleasing right. in the sight of God. Mm -hmm. Amen? Because he knows everything. And he ain't got no, he don't care how much money you got. He don't care what color you are. He don't care who you are. 
We all stand on the same level in Christ Jesus. He don't have no favorites. He don't care. I was born into a piece of family. That don't matter. You got to die for yourself. Mama can't die for you. Daddy cannot die for you. Uncle, cousin, you got to die for yourself. And somebody, else, well, my parents did it like this, and they they probably made it. No, if you find that maybe they didn't know what they're trying to do right, you got to straighten that up and do better yourself. We can always do better, you know. So just continue to keep the word. That was a very good lesson. Overcoming. Yes, yeah, yeah, sure. And and if you don't have no temptation, you ain't got nothing to overcome. Amen. Amen. Every day in our life, when you overcome, you said, "Thank God, I overcame." Yeah. You know, it's just like a basketball game. You never play the game and bounce the ball around and you ain't going to win. So guess what? We have to get in some hustle, some tackles and, and we to win. Amen. Because this is the thing that the devil don't want you to win. Like he said, he does not stop. And the closer you get to God, he'll send all kinds of things. He wants you to disbelieve and not have faith. All that, all that. We just got to put our faith in God, no matter what it is. Man, thank God. Oh, that was awesome overseer show. That was awesome. Beautiful. Amen. Amen. Anybody? Yeah, um, yeah, I, I want to say something. Um, huh? I was sitting here thinking as she was talking, and I was thinking about the overcoming temptation. Don't you know it's a lot of great people have left this world? Mm -hmm. You know, Satan is on his job. They go yeah. through so much, and I guess I'm talking about suicidal or whatever. How, where they left, great people have left this world. They went through so many trials and tribulations where they just felt like it was better to leave this world than to just call on God and just try to just, you know, try to make it. They felt like that, won't well, no use, ain't no hope. And not realizing that once the breath is out of your body, there's nothing else you could do. Knowing if they would only stay here a while and just trusted in God, but the devil, he's a powerful son, but he's not powerful in God. And see, a lot of times people feel like just giving up. You know, there's no use, but there's always use. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. He look like your birth son. Is that one of your children? <laughs> yes. That little round face like mommy. Like, mm. Hey, baby. Four years old. Oh, he's so cute. Awesome. <laughs> Man. Man. Did you? Yeah, but God is good. Amen. That's why we, you know, try to encourage, like you said. Uh, so many times people don't recognize. That's why we got to recognize spirits and pray for our families. Yes. I had a family member right in my house. Had a knife. She was trying to cut herself. They said she'd been cutting herself. You know, she could be dead. But God spared her life, you know. All right. All right. And I want to tell y'all, uh, way back in the day, when I was trying to be a Christian, trying to be God's child, I had so many problems in my home. I was going to take me some I was trying to kill myself. Amen. But God. But look at God. But God. And, and, I, and then I thought about it. I said, let me take, because you know what they said, the person that was upset me, fool, I ain't got no money to bury you. I said, oh, mm. okay, let me not kill myself. <laughs> I, ain't I love you, honey. Don't do it. I ain't got no money to bury you. Oh. Yeah. Amen. So thank God he knocked me back to my conscience. Hallelujah. That is good. Cool. Man, the yeah. devil, see, he didn't want, he know all this ministry, all this stuff is still going on. He, he want to stop it. Amen. That's right. Amen. We just got to pray for more faith and more everything every day, all day, because um, we can never get enough faith. And we just have to just pray to God to strengthen our minds because without a mind that trusts God, we are lost. And we, yeah. like he said, we have to pray for our families, you know, and we just, just continue to pray, just pray without ceasing. Now yeah. I understand what that means. We yeah. got to pray and pray some more. That's, That's what it balances. Uh, we have our prayer call uh, on every morning after seven. She had all that's her thing. She always say, God cannot answer a prayer that has not been prayed. Cannot right. answer a prayer that has not been prayed. So let's just keep praying. Amen. 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 Yeah. Yeah, Brother Ray, all right. You ready? Go ahead, Brother Ray. I'm listening. You know, I just, you know, I, I sit here, I listen, and I think you, you know, like he says, temptation comes mm -hmm. from the devil. 
That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he tempted God. That's mm-hmm. right. Knowing that in reality, he could tempt God. Mm-hmm. What God say to him when he tempted him? Mm-hmm. It is written. It is written. Don't do what? Yeah. What did That's he say? What was the Lord that God. It was written, don't tempt our God. Our God. That's right. Oh, to him that he was God. Yeah. He said it was written. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. You understand what I'm saying? See, you know, the the word and the, that's the why you said that you got to know the word. God knows the word, but things that he done was for us because he came in the form of a human. That's a right. Place. And he was doing that as a human, showing us the way, things to do, things to say. That's right. And to the point where I can remember as a young boy here, my grandfather, and my grandmother said, get behind me, Satan. Mm-hmm. They were using the word. He was using the word. Mm-hmm. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? And, and you know, even though you went on and you said he gave us the blueprint, we don't have to be tempted. That's right. If we do what he say according to the word. Preparation and planning. He gave it to us. Outline. Well, he gave us the preparation. Mm-hmm. He gave us the Holy Ghost to dwell in us, to lead us and guide us. Yeah. You know, and he also told us that we have power over the devil. That's what he said. And if it's the devil tempting you and you have power over you, you just have to, like you say, I don't mind. You know what I'm saying? You got to stay in the word. Got to stay in the word. Have to. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I was thinking, you know, we is a lot. Of a, 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 a praying, which is good, but I think we need to do a little more praising too. Absolutely, the word says when praises go up, blessings come down. You know, you know what I'm saying. Just stop sometime and just praise for ten or fifteen minutes. Just don't ask for anything. That's right. Give him thanks. Just give him thanks and praise. The Hebrew said he inhabits the praises of his people. Yeah. Yeah. You know, very, very good lesson. Very good lesson. But like I said, you know, uh, uh, Sonia K was saying something too. And I was thinking as she was saying it, you know, that's the reason why we have to continue to try to give wisdom and knowledge of the word, the spiritual word. Yes. Because a lot of the word, even what Jesus said, it's spiritual. Mm-hmm. Faith is spiritual. Yeah. You know, a lot of things we don't even see, but we have the faith. That's spiritual. Mm-hmm. When you pray, it's spiritual. When you ask God for a blessing, for him to do anything for you, that's spiritual. Mm-hmm. You know, it ain't just getting up there giving word because when he heals or whatever he does for you, that's spiritual. Yeah. You know, and, and I think, you know, a lot of times, you know, what hurts us too is we don't live in the spiritual, we live in the in the human side mm-hmm. instead of the spiritual side. The human side is what causes us the problems. Mm-hmm. The human side is what let us be tempted. The human side is what let us say things that we shouldn't say. <laughs> but oh, God be the glory if we stay in the spiritual side. Come on. That's it. That's what the subject is, the overcoming temptation. So you're going to be tempted as long as you're on the earth. I'm going to be tempted. That's what, God, that's what he showed us when he was on the mountain, when he was 40 days. He, the devil tempted him as a human. Overcome. He had no power over God. No, no, he didn't. <laughs> Think about it. He had he couldn't do nothing with God. He said that but should... he did that as a lesson to us as being a human, showing us the things that we should say and do, even though when he comes to that. Don't tempt by God. He was talking about himself. Right. The other thing, you know what I'm saying? He was laying a blueprint for us. That's it. And the blueprint kept on when he died. That's the reason why the other people writing the Bible gave us certain things to live and do. Mm-hmm. There's a guide to us. And the only way we know the guide is we have to study the word. Got to study it. Continually be in the word. That's it. He said, I, that word, oh Lord, have I hid in my heart. So after you read the word, you got to hide it in your heart, you know? And sometimes you don't have to be reading it. If you know it, 
it just comes out, you know, it's in you, you know, you remember. Glory. You, know, you might not remember from Genesis to Revelation, but we all should know some scripture. Right. So we can put them to the devil like Jesus did. God, come on. <laughs> come on here. Don't get me shouting. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. Uh, you got to talk to them. Talk to them. Yeah, know the word. Hmm. Well, even though, like I said, he went through his life and did what he said, he still tells us to know the word. Absolutely. And just like you. Absolutely. When you go on and you go into your study, you're still going back in the Old Testament, which is a part of the word. Yeah. Yeah. The knowing the word. Yeah. Very good lesson. And you know what? I am glad I know the word. I am looking now. People, all the things that we went through, y'all, I ain't gonna say shallow is the best, but I look at people now. They still on the TV trying to tell people to send them all, send me this money. People need the word. You need to send the people some money. Not people sending you all, the, send me this. I'm, I'm like, Lord Jesus, when are we going to stop? And no, you can't buy salvation. No, you can't. You can't buy healing. Amen? That's all I have to mean. speak the word. I ain't got to send you nothing. Just speak the word and it's done. Sister Wallace, did we go to the hospital and pray for that baby? Did we go and pray for that baby? What was he at in California? Yep. That's where he is. We, do. we spoke the word. Right. The awesome. baby, uh, the grandbaby in the hospital spoke the word. That's is it. Jackson back out the hospital again? Hmm. Brother Ray, is Jacqueline huh? back out the hospital? Jackie's daughter, she back out the hospital? Not that I don't know, not that I know. Unless y'all saw something. Back in hospital a couple of days ago, I don't know. Mm -hmm. We spoke the word. And, and Brother uh, Caldwell, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. We still speak the word. Right. Hallelujah. We touch Praise it God. Agreeing. He said, where two or three are sending themselves together, I'll be a God in the midst. He's in our midst, y'all. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I thank God. Look at Brother Ray. He was laying back. He's trying to get older than me anyway. He's trying to get old, brother. You might well be back up. Ray looking younger every day. You can lay back as you want. Pastor Shaw, I realize that you say the devil going to be tempting me all the time. But even though he might be tempting me and I might have this pain here, I know God is my helper. I know Amen. God is where my strength comes from. What he does to my body, it ain't going to stop the faith and the belief that I have in God. Come on. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, I thank God for the small blessing. I had pain, pain all night, but I got up this morning, opened my eyes, kept on the floor, got up and walked. That's a blessing. Amen. That's a blessing. You, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, you know, you blessed everybody. They might be small, but you know Feedback or something. In the echo. He's echoing. Is that me? Yeah. No, no, hold on a second. All right, go ahead. You know, I know that I'm blessed. Uh, yeah, Is this, that still? It sounds like it's coming for you. I don't know what's happening. Yes. I ain't touched nothing. I ain't did nothing. What happened? <laughs> I didn't. The devil is busy. He's busy. He did he, already. That's all right. You know, you know they say he controls the airways, so the devil is busy. That's all right. Yeah. But like I said, we're not gonna let him kill our Joe. That's right. No victory here. <coughs> hey, Amen. Maybe they me. Maybe uh, somebody else say. I like what y'all alluded to there, right there. When the enemy tries to tempt us, uh, we 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 fight him with the word. Amen. Speak the word. Amen. Yeah. All right. I don't know what's going on with this. Uh, we on it anyhow. Anybody else have any comments you want to share? We keep pulling What's that? Keep pulling poil. All right, sister. Amen. Keep on. All right. Absolutely. We're going to do that, most definitely. Amen. Thank God for y'all on here tonight. Everybody that's watching us online, amen. We God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank God for all of you. 
amen, that are on here uh, tonight, even though us directly on the zone. God bless you all. Amen. All right, listen, anybody have any other comments or questions? If not, we're going to get ready to close out. Amen. Uh, we got prayer call tomorrow, 12 o'clock noon. That's right. Absolutely. 12 noon. Everybody that can. Join us, uh, before we have prayer tomorrow, we're going to praise for about 10 minutes, five minutes before we do prayer. So, All right. everybody that join that can. I mean, we just going to praise the God for like five minutes or whatever. Give him the praise before we ask for anything. All right. Come on. And join us. That's right. Praise and pray. <laughs> All right. Praise and pray. All right. 12 noon tomorrow. Amen. All right. Listen, I, I, for those of y'all that are going to be in the Newark area this weekend, amen. This is for y'all. Amen. And those of you not that are going to be in the Newark area, y'all pray for us. But I want to do a screen share of what we're doing uh, here in Newark on Saturday. Hold on a second. I'm going to do a screen share one more time. One moment. All right, one moment. All right, screen share. Here we go. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see that. Can y'all see my screen? Yes. Yeah, All right. Yeah, that's going to be a that's a flyer uh, we, we're doing. We're actually doing a community outreach Saturday at Shiloh. All right. South 19th Street. If you're going to be in, meet us there. All right. We're going to be giving our free clothes. We're going to have some, you know, good new clothes, some brand new clothes. Uh, we're going to do free food. We're going to have some music. We're going to be having ministry going on, uh, giveaways. Uh, we're going to have some community resources also to available. Amen. And we're going to, and, uh, we're going to be ministering. Amen. And we're looking to try to do even some stuff for the, uh, for the youth, on uh, kids, some fun stuff for the youth on Saturday too as well. So listen, if you're not doing anything on Saturday between the hours of 12 p.m. to 4 p.m., meet us at Shallow Temple, 547 South 19th Street. In the beautiful city of Newark, New Jersey. Amen. Amen. What the Lord is doing great and mighty things. Amen. And we believe in it as marvelous in his eyes. Amen. Can you say praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. All right. Let me click out of here. Oops. All right. Stop screen share. All right. And for those of y'all that are going to be coming out, uh, the, the, the members of the church, we're going to try to get there a little early to set up. Uh, I'm going to try to myself be there with my family at least probably about 10 so we can set up. We want everybody that can come on out, support. Amen, 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 as we do outreach uh, for the community on Saturday. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right, listen, this has been awesome, y'all. We've had a blessed time on tonight. We thank God, amen, for his word. Amen, for his word is amen, is truth. Amen, amen, and we thank God, amen. Uh, on tonight. We're going to close out with a word of prayer. Amen. And we're going to ask on tonight, amen, Minister Carwell stepped away. <laughs> but we're going uh, to ask uh, Probably got to go to school, probably. Sister, Sister Wanda, take us out with prayer. I love to hear uh, Sister Wanda uh, <laughs> pray too. Amen. Praise God. All right, brother, thank you. God bless you. over there <laughs> Nina, amen, the family. God bless you too. We thank God for Everybody that's on today, thank God for you. Come on. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this Bible study this evening. Lord, we thank you that you allow us to have Bible study each and every week. We thank you for the knowledge and the wisdom that we receive. We thank you, Lord, for everything that you've done. We thank you, Lord, for each and every person in on the Bible study tonight, Lord. And we ask you to help us to always hide your word in our hearts that we might not sin against you, but that we would be all that you would have us to be. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 We're Amen. awesome. Amen. Listen, God bless you all. Until next time, amen. Please join us again. Remember, on tomorrow, amen, prayer conference call. Amen. Amen. We'll send out the text out the link. Amen. I may be actually on the road around that time, so we may do this, the conference call line. If not, mm -hmm. the all right, on tomorrow. Amen. Yeah. Listen, I have a blessed night for the remainder of your life. Amen. And we're going to talk and be together once again real soon. I love y'all all. Love them. Take care, everybody. Bless you. All right. God bless you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thanks for coming. Good night. 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 Good